Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This is video number five in a series of videos that talks about how to use the data that you collect from a Google form that you've downloaded to your computer as an Excel document. In our last video we talked about the paired data t-test and in this video we're going to look at correlation and scatter plots. So this is the data set that I have collected using a Google form and it's all about students and so we've got their gender, the number of hours they study, their age, some of their scores and feelings and so on. And I might suspect that there's an interesting correlation for example between the age of a student and the number of hours they spend studying or perhaps the number of hours they spend studying and the score that they get on their project or their final exam. Using correlation in Excel is very straightforward. So your first step is just to decide what is it that you want to look at a correlation for. Let's do age and final exam score. And I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these columns of data, copy them from this area by hitting Control C, and I'm going to scroll down in my Excel doc and place them by hitting Control V into another area. And the reason I do this is it just gives me a clean area to work and I don't have to worry about negatively affecting my original data. So I want to look at the correlation between these two variables. The first thing that I can do is use a function in Excel called Corel. If you know the function in Excel, you can do the shortcut, which is typing in an equal sign, pressing the letter C because we know we want correlation or Corel, and then scrolling down until we see the correlation option, double click it, and it reminds us that we need two arrays or columns of data, which we have. We're comparing the age, so I'll highlight this with my mouse, all the way to the bottom, then I'll hit a comma and come back up here, and after that I want the second column. I'm going to highlight that again with my mouse until we get to the bottom and then come back up and finish this with a closed parentheses and then press enter. This result that I get is actually the R value. It's my correlation R value, which in this case appears to be quite strong. It's uh, nearly 0.57, which is considered a relatively strong positive correlation. That implies that as a person gets older and older, they seem to be getting a higher and higher final exam score. Now let's say I don't know the shortcut or I'm not 100% sure how to get to the correlation this way. I can also do this uh, the longer way. Let's say I'm in the home in Excel and I'm just starting from scratch. I click on any blank cell. I choose formulas, more functions, statistical, and then I can scroll down until I remember what I'm looking for. In this case, correlation. And if you highlight or you put your mouse over the area, it will say something like, this returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets. And that's what we want. So again, I can double click it. In this case, which is a little different from the shortcut, it says, OK, where's your first array? And notice that it put something weird there, so I just backed up and got rid of it, because Excel does that. So my first array is over here. And again, I'm going to highlight it with my mouse until we get to the end. When I release my mouse, it takes me back. I click next to Array 2. I need to scroll back up till I get to the beginning of Array 2. I'm going to highlight that, continuing down. And then when I release my mouse, it says, OK, here's where your first data set is. Here's where your second data set is. You can already see the R value. And when I click OK, it gives me the same exact R value it did when I took the shortcut. So this is how you can calculate the correlation between any two variables using Excel. Now suppose you discover that you do have a correlation and you'd like to see that correlation visibly in a chart. The type of chart you'd want to use here is called a scatter plot. And here is how to make a scatter plot. Click anywhere blank, highlight all of the data. So that's both of the columns of data. Then come over to Insert. Look for the little dots that look like they're scattered around. If you hover over, it says Insert a Scatter or a Bubble Chart. We want a Scatter Chart. 
Even before I click it, it already starts to build it. I'm going to click it to choose. I can make it bigger. I can click over here in the title and I can put whatever I want. This is the relationship between age and final exam score. If I want to also I can click on any one of these data points. I can right click and I can add a trend line. I want it to be linear because this is a linear relationship and I can also display the regression equation right on the chart by clicking this box. And here's the regression equation. It's tiny and over here so I'm just going to make it I'm going to move it and if you want you can make it larger by highlighting it clicking on home and just increasing its size. So now here we have a scatter plot that shows us the age of the person along the x-axis so starting around the age of 20 we have scores that are around say 60 percent and then as we get older and older you can see that overall the scores are starting to tend upward and that's why our R value was a positive value and was above 0.5. So this is an example of how to use Excel to calculate the R value or the correlation and to create a scatter plot with a regression line and the equation. Thanks for joining me and our next video will deal more with